Hello, this is for day 255, a Bible in one year, and our Bible text, Proverbs chapters 13 to 15, and then 2 Corinthians chapter 5. So let's start reading. Proverbs chapter 13. A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but the wickedness overthroweth the sinner. There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing, there is that Maketh himself poor, yet had great riches. The ransom of a great man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Only by pride come at contention, but with the well-advised is wisdom. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but the fool layeth open his folly. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is held. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction, but he that gathereth reproof shall be honored. The desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is abomination to fools to depart from evil. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but the companion of fools shall be destroyed. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. A good man liveth an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Much food is in the tillage of the poor, but there is that this is, but there is that is destroyed for want of judgment. He that spared his right hated his son, but he that loveth his loveth him chasteneth him betimes. The righteous eateth to the satisfying of his soul, but the belly of the wicked shall want. Proverbs chapter fourteen. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. He that walketh in his uprightness feareth the Lord, but he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him. In the mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride, but the lips of the wise shall preserve them. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean, but much increase is by the strength of the ox. A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. A scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not, but knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth. Go from the presence of a foolish man, when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth his own bitterness, and the stranger doth not intermediate, doth not intermit meddle with his joy. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Even in laughter the heart is horrible, and the end of that merit is heaviness. The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. A wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rageth and is confident. He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly, and the man of wicked devices is hated. The simple inherit fully, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge, the evil bow before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor is hated even of his own neighbor, but the rich had many friends. He that despiseth his neighbor is in it. But he that hath mercy on the poor, happy is he. Do they not ear that devise evil, but mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good. 
and all lay borders profit, but the top of the lips tended only to penury. The crown of the wise is their riches, but the foolishness of fools is fully. A true witness delivereth souls, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, to depart from the snares of death. In the multitude of people is the king's honor, but in the want of people is the destruction of the prince. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalted fully. A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy, the rottenness of the bones. He that oppresseth the poor reproaches his maker, but he that honoreth him hath mercy on the poor. The wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous with hope in his death. Wisdom resteth in the heart of him that hath understanding, but that which is in the midst of fools is made known. Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. The king's favor is toward the wise servant, but his right is against him that causeth shame. Proverbs chapter 15 A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright. But the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a bridge in the spirit. A fool despiseth his father's instruction, but he that regardeth reproof is prudent. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doeth not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are before the Lord, much, how much more than are the hearts of the children of men. A scorner loveth not wine that reproveth him, neither will he go unto the wise. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of a merry heart hath a continual feast. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble to read. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred with it therewith. A rightful man stirred, stirred up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife. The way of the slothful man is as an hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despiseth his mother. Fully is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors they are established. A man had joy by the answer of his mouth, and the word spoken in due season. How good is it! The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the border of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. He that is greedy of gain, of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hated gifts shall live. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth of the wicked forth out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoiceth the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise, he that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. But he that heareth reproof getteth understand, understanding. The fear of the Lord is instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Alright, then I'll go to Second Corinthians chapter 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. 
For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon, clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked. For we that are in the tabernacle do groan, being burdened. Not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that had wrought for wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also had given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore we are always confident, knowing that, whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight, we are confident, I say, and willing rather than and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor that, whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. For we command not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. For the love of Christ cons constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one die for all, that we then are all dead, then are all dead, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh, yea, no we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, all things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and had given to us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing not imputing the trespasses unto them, and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you, in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he had made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Alright, we're done with Bible reading. So again, this is for day 255 of Bible in one year, and we've read Proverbs chapter 13 to 15, and then 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Thank you, and God bless.